Hello and welcome back to Broken Lines. Broken Lines is an amazing game that will be coming out in 2020. If you would like to add it to your Steam wishlist, then there is a link in the description. Otherwise, this is where we came to in the previous episode, and uh, this is day two of the prologue. So, let's actually start moving, shall we? And we're going to need to go over here to this Hi. fence, Hi. I assume. Okay. And we'll have to be a bit careful about things. Thankfully, we have bandages on everyone, so I would assume that there's going to be many, many more, well, shall we say, problems up ahead. We'll see. Anyway, King says, stay back. I'm going to blow a hole in that fence ahead. Save your ammo and just jump over it, you moron. Well, yes, that's why I was I was planning on doing that. Uh, yes, some cover objects can be destroyed by explosive grenades. Weak cover can be destroyed by gunfire. The suppression ability can cause heavy damage to most fences and other wooden objects. Yes, we already know that. So, uh, I don't know whether I should jump over it, or I should just yes. let them destroy it. I don't know. Personally, I'd prefer to jump over it, because there may be some enemies nearby, and I don't really want to alert them. As you can see right here, we have someone right now. Alright, so this is thick wood, so you can see here that as we explored in the previous episode, every single piece of cover has a different stat benefit when you hide behind it. So you can see here that thick wood is pretty good. It lowers enemy accuracy by 30%, but it is primarily good for reducing explosive damage. And this, on the other hand, rock, that is much better for enemy accuracy. So what we're going to do yes. is we're going to find yes. our long-range rifle person, and we're going to place them here, and then we will hopefully be able to take an aimed shot. 95% chance, that's pretty good, mm -hmm. if I do say so myself. And let's see about placing... Yeah, well, they're just going to go there, I think, and we'll see how that goes. Go to hell. I'm actually kind of weirded out that this AI is deciding to... Oh, who's that? Is that one of ours? No, no, that's an enemy. <laughs> it's an enemy that's not actually been notified that we are actually around here at the moment. So that's kind of interesting. Okay, so I guess some suppression is in order because then we can stress out the opponent and then we'll get another aimed shot going on here. 75% chance to hit that. And then the shotgun fellow will go over here. Oh, that was easy enough. Yeah, yeah, stressed out. Look at that. That guy is totally stressed out. Fantastic. All right, so that, that went perfectly. We have literally taken only a very small amount of damage. Let's take a look here. So I'm going to basically just go and I'm going to sprint up here. Oh, no, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. This is probably not the best idea because you can see that this guy is right here. Don't know where he's going to be moving to, but as you can see, he does have a pretty decent chance to hit. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move around here and just get prepared for any opponent. And maybe I will try and knock that guy down. Ah, we can't do that. So I think a concuss oh, concussion grenade. We've only got three of those. Hmm. That's, that's problematic. Hmm. Okay, you know what? Let's, uh, let's just shoot this guy. Uh, do I need to move a little bit? Maybe I need to move a little bit. Let's, uh, let's just move like here. And let's get a nice shot. That's 90%. Okay. And then we'll move our submachine gun guy over in this direction as well. Because you never know. We might need the assistance. Alright, let's do that. Oh, this is interesting. Ah. <laughs> oh. That, uh, that did not go very well for the opponent, did it? He was like, yeah, I'm going to be sneaky and try and flank them. And then I'm going to run out of cover and get absolutely massacred by both of them. That did not go too well for him, did it? Oh. All right. So thankfully it didn't because now we can make our way over here. wonder whether I should use a concussion grenade over in this direction or not. Maybe I should just move over yes. here and move here maybe yeah around about there seems pretty good and let's do some suppression in that area and then we'll get our other fellow or should we say our other comrade over here and we will then shoot in that direction 
Okay, so suppression did not go too well, as you can see right there. That was not very good at all, but we were able to achieve a victory. We did take a little bit of extra damage, which I certainly do not really appreciate. Let's see what Quick Fix actually does again. First aid that can heal soldiers within a small radius. Heal soldiers by moderate amount within a small radius. All right, well, that's exactly what we're going to do then. We're going to move over here. And, oh, was that it? Ah. The soldiers surprise the masked enemies in the middle of a gruesome scene. Hmm. Bloody hell, look at all those bodies. These inhumane bastards are committing mass murder. The bodies don't have any bullet holes, though. Just swollen faces, scratches, bite marks. Whatever it is, these faceless swords must be behind it. They ought to rot in hell. Oh, well. Uh, I'm, sure they, I'm sure they're probably going to be. Anyway, we're going to uh, move over here and see if we can heal our, uh, heal our friends. And we did all right. I think we did all right. Not extremely well, but I think we did okay. We've only got two bandages. Uh, only two bandages with veteran Haley, but we have three with veteran Morgan. So I think I'm actually going to heal himself. And let's see if that does a decent amount. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, so let's actually start moving down here then. And uh, we'll see what we encounter along the way. As I said, I feel like this mission is going to be much more difficult than the previous one. Because, well, we're given so many different... Uh, <laughs> so many different bandages and abilities. So, let's see. I think a suppression would be really good here. I Yeah, that's thin wood, so I think suppression is going to be fantastic. So, we're going to move him around about here. Then we'll do suppression. And then we can maybe move, trying to get the least, uh, least accuracy for the opponent. Seems to be kind of easy for them to hit us, unfortunately. So I guess we'll just try that and we'll see how it goes with an aimed shot. Because by that time, we might have the cover down. I think that might be kind of good. And uh, let's just rush this guy as much as we can with our shotgun fellow. So let's see how we do. Go to hell. Oh, okay, that actually went uh, much better than anticipated. Thankfully this guy is super stressed out right now, so we should have an easy time. I'm actually going to knock him down with our ability here, or I will attempt to knock him down, and then that should be a kill. There we go. Not too bad. And what is take them down, by the way? Need to have a look at that. For 16 seconds, target's evasion reduces by 20% and likelihood of being targeted increases by 90%. Uh, okay, so that's really good. Right. Mm. We've got some long long wheat and, and, and grain here, so this might, might be a little bit interesting. Okay, okay let's move here and okay. there and there. That seems pretty good. We're still all relatively high in Enemy HP, sighted. so nothing really to worry about there. Aha! Uh -huh. Yes, exactly what I was talking about. An alternative to physical cover is camouflage. Soldiers who are hidden in bushes and fields are more difficult for enemies to hit. They are harder to see, and enemies cannot focus on them as easily. Watch out, because the enemy might also be using it. <laughs> okay, so that's going to be pretty interesting. Thankfully, we can go behind the thick stone right here, and I think that's what we're going to continue to do. And I will then just suppress into... Should I suppress into the into the camouflage ahead of us here? Uh, this might also be camouflage to the side of us, which is going to be a little bit problematic, I would say. But I guess we're just going to try it out. We'll do an aim shot once we get there. Enemy sighted. Yeah. Right. Okay. That did not work as intended. Oh well. Never mind. That's fine. That's absolutely fine. Okay, so that means I should probably head over here. Oh, that's pretty harsh. Uh, yeah, I should probably head here. With sprint. And then I should try and knock this guy down with the knocking down ability. Because that's super powerful. You haven't even seen it in, in action yet. But I saw it in the tutorial training area. 
and it's just so good. It really is. Okay, so let's do a nice suppressive fire over in that direction. And we will, I guess, just attempt to do an aim shot against this guy. Or maybe against this guy. Hmm. Yeah, command is currently executing, so I don't even need to do that again. So we'll just let that play and we'll see what happens. Yeah, some nice damage right there. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so we eliminated someone over there. He did take a little bit of damage, but that is to be expected. Nothing really to worry about, in my opinion. And now... Now it is just a case of taking this guy down. So I guess we'll just do an aimed shot from yes. here. Yes. We'll do some more suppression. Yes. And... Yeah, now this guy is... Well, what, what is he having here? Injured, the soldier has lost more than half health, suffering a reduction in speed, courage, and accuracy. He has standard composure, he's camouflaged. Yeah, okay, that's absolutely fine. I think we're just going to move him a little bit more in here so that he has, well, so he's more fully in the camouflage. As you can see, look at this guy's stress. His stress is just going absolutely crazy. So he literally cannot do anything when his stress meter is full, which is the main reason why I wanted to use suppression there. And it seems to be working really, really nicely. So we're going to use suppression once again. And then we will just do another aimed shot, and hopefully that will mean his demise. <laughs> there we go. Not too bad. Okay. <laughs> maybe, uh, maybe, maybe a little bit slower than I would have liked, but I think that's all right. Okay, so let's have a look. We've got two bandages with this fellow, so we're just going to take him over there and just heal his friend. I'm trying to save the bandages that our medic has because I personally feel like the medic is going to be very powerful when healing so you mostly gonna try and use her in a crisis situation rather than in a normal yes. encounter or in an encounter where we finish it relatively easily without taking too much damage and then we have a bit of a respite after that all right so we can now move up aha uh -huh. Okay, so there's going to be enemies here. 100% there will be enemies here. There's just n no okay. <laughs> no possibility for there not to be. So let's move up. Since camouflage is a different type of protection from cover, camouflage and cover can be combined Hostile. to significantly decrease enemy accuracy. Now that is kind of insane. And certainly something that we want to look into. Okay, so okay. let's have a look here. <laughs> this... Yes, this is the quintessential I have the high ground Anakin situation. Standing on higher ground will improve the hit chances for that soldier, so use the terrain to your advantage and try to avoid situations where the enemy soldiers are on higher ground. And the problem is, I don't know whether there are any other enemies around here, but I suppose we're just going to move there anyway, and we'll just, well, make the best of it, I suppose. And I'm going to move my shotgun guy over here, because there might be an enemy over in this direction. Yep, there is one. Oh, that's actually ours. Never mind. That is actually our soldier. Connor, there you are. It's... Shh, you ruined my ambush, you asshats. Good to see you. Since you're here, help me take them down. Okay, well, yeah, that's exactly what we're going to do. And, uh... Wow, this is actually pretty cool. Yeah, this is, uh, Lee Enfield. Yeah, mm. The Enfield rifle is really, really fun to use. Okay, so let's have a look here. Uh, yeah, 100% chance. That is crazy. Crazy 100% chance there. Okay, so let's play it. See what happens. Oh yeah, super easy. He's panicking, but that's okay because we have the height advantage. Height advantage is just everything here. Okay, so thankfully we were able to find our friend and did not even know that there was going to be someone in there, but I just thought to myself, oh, there might be, you know, <laughs> might be someone in there. So I sent my shotgun guy in there. All right, so let's move down, I suppose. Aye. And we'll put them behind cover here. I think everyone can just go, uh, can go over there. Actually, you know what? Shotgun guy is going to go over here, even though that might make things a little bit uncomfortable for him if there are some enemies. We do have two long-range rifle people that are going to be very easily able to defend us. 
damn it. We have to cross that open bridge, and there's a rifleman ready to take pot shots at us from that house over there. I have some smoke grenades. Brilliant. Throw one in front of his window. Once he's blinded, the rest of us can cross the bridge and enter the... Yes, I know how smoke grenades work, King. Get ready. <laughs> yes, I'm sure. Okay, so let's uh, let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can do. Okay, so smoke grenades, right? Okay. Uh... Yeah, I'm gonna just let it play out so that we can get all into position. And then we will move at the end of our turn here. Okay, so Connor, yes. let's see what we can do. Okay, so Connor's gonna go here, and then a smoke grenade will be around about here. Should be fine, right? I think that should be okay. And then we will move over in this direction right okay so otherwise okay. don't know whether that's actually going to work for all of us you see that's the main issue because oh, you can see here day. on the on the bar it's almost completed so I'm thinking what we're gonna do first is we're actually not gonna throw the smoke grenade just yet we're gonna get everyone into position which is basically just putting everyone behind that piece of cover and then we will throw the smoke grenade I know that this is going to be wasting oh dear uh, well that was not exactly what I intended but okay I probably should have gone into stealth mode that would have been uh, yes. much more advantageous for us but I, I suppose it's okay company of myself performs better when alone when alone accuracy and firing rate is increased by 10% oh that's actually really cool anyway let's throw this grenade finally Boom. And then we will sprint over there. Yes. And the same thing with all of these as well. We'll sprint. Sprint. Aye. And sprint. There we go. Okay. Let's do it. Enemy sighted. Oh, okay. There's a lot of people right there. But that's actually fine. I think that's okay. We need to... Someone needs to go... Okay. So someone needs to go in there. So we're going to cancel this guy. Uh, actually, uh, I think the shotgun guy can probably deal with this, can't yes, he? Let's have okay. a look at his percentages. Yeah, perfect. Really nice percentages. Should be okay. 60% to 35%. We're going to knock him down, actually. Let's just use the yes. knocking down ability. And we're going to send this guy in here. To fire at the fellow from behind. That seems pretty good to me. And yes. then we'll get aimed shot. Aye. Uh, we'll get aimed shot from Haley to shoot at that guy as well. And anyone else? I don't see anyone else right now. So I think we should be okay to let this play out. Okay, he's, he's doing damage. Yeah, 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 yeah. Almost. He's almost dead. Okay, he's at 1%. I'm actually wondering, what what is this? Ah, oh, that's a cover window. I was actually hoping to see what that little uh, drop was, but I assume it just means that he's he's injured. Maybe he's bleeding. Not entirely sure. But I think that there's one more person. Yeah, there's one more person over there. So let's get our shotgun guy to go over here. Yes. And we'll get a rifle person here, rifle person yes. there, and then we'll just let it play out. Hopefully he's going to kill this guy in a second. Yep, there we go. Ah, there's actually another another enemy over in that direction. That's actually fine, though, because we know it's a bad idea to run head-on into the village. We could use the fields for camouflage. We're better off using the fences and higher ground to the right. Okay, well, uh, I was actually thinking of going through the fields, actually, but... Uh, you can decide, you know, you can decide what you want to do. And thankfully, because I have done this, this kind of situation here, we have two rifle people very easily able to deal damage to this guy. And we also have a close range SMG able to deal with this. So hopefully we'll be able to take him out if we stand by this window here. Or maybe we, oh, you know what? I'm not going to go out through the window. I'm going to go out here and try and shoot from this direction. I think that's probably going to be the best idea. So now it's just a case of figuring out how we're going to get around to this guy, because I think we already have this fellow taken care of, but we're going to obviously aim at him anyway, 
It's going to take 35%. Mm. 35% is not exactly great. We could throw a smoke grenade as well, which would block some line of sight, which might make sense. Uh, you know, I don't know. Yes. Maybe it would be an idea. Mm. Maybe if we move over here. Then we shoot from this direction. I don't think she can actually see yes. him from here, but... Well, well, we'll try something here. Okay, so we're gonna go over there, and then here is okay, and then we'll throw a concussion grenade, and then we will move closer and shoot him in the face, hopefully. Hopefully that's going to work. Alright, let's see how it plays out. Alright, so that guy's now aware of where we are, but that's okay, because we're now in camouflage, so it might be harder for us to be hit. There is actually someone else over here, but that is just a pistol. Pistols are usually very, very close range, and as you can see, there's the concussion grenade going off right there, and we should have a pretty free kill on this enemy, or not, as the case may be, <laughs> or not. Yeah, that's, that's fine. That's fine. Okay. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to move over here, and we're going to stay low. And we're going to hold fire a little bit. And then what we're going to do is play it, apparently. I did not mean to do that. Oh, well, never mind. Well, this is actually not even that bad because, as I said, pistols are not exactly great from long range. So he should be able to win with the SMG. Shouldn't be too bad. And have we killed the enemy over here? Did we kill the enemy right here? Or did they just go into the, uh, the camouflage and now we can't see them? Not entirely sure. But I guess we're going to find out relatively soon. So let's start moving our rifleman over here. There we go. No, it seems like we have uh, seems like we have killed those. And there's probably going to be a couple of people up here. Let's face it, there will definitely be some people up here. So we yes. probably want to go and clear those out as soon as possible. So let's try and sprint over there. Yes. Sprinting is always a bit of a risky risky maneuver okay. because you never know whether you're going to run into someone and then you can't shoot at them, you know. So probably kind of a bit of a eh, a bit of a high risk, high reward kind of play. We'll see. There's a kill. There's another one. And maybe we can kill this one too. Oh nice. A little bit of extra damage right there. Seems like ah yeah, there is someone here. It's a long range rifle person yes. as well. So we're gonna have to do something about that. Maybe we can move over here. This is gonna be taking quite a bit of damage. Maybe we can sprint over in this direction. Actually wondering, can we use a concussion grenade? Yeah, but not enough. Look at that. Not enough. Okay, so we're going to have to sprint over here. Then, can we throw a concussion? Nah, no line of sight, of course. Okay, so maybe... Hmm, I'm thinking maybe we can... Run there, and then use a concussion grenade. We can... And it kind of hits, but not really. So I'm going to just be safe. And we're just going to go over there. And hopefully this person will not move over here to try and shoot at our other fellows. That would not be too nice. So otherwise, let's just go this way. And lay down some cover fire, I suppose. We'll try and flank a little bit. Oh, wow, that's a lot of damage right there. Okay, oh, hello. Some enemies have specific abilities or items, such as explosive grenades. These pose a great threat to your soldiers. Be sure to keep an eye out for them and eliminate those who have special equipment. So you can see that this guy right here has special equipment, and he could technically flank our friend here, which would not be too good. But we're going to put him there anyway, and yes. we're going to need to do something about this. I'm going to just try an aimed shot yes. right there, and we'll heal here. Mm, I think that's good. Yeah, there we go. Nice. And there's a grenade, which is just going to completely miss because I don't think this guy actually knows where our yes. SMG fellow is. So that's pretty good. And I think I'm actually going to just charge at him straight up and then just do suppression like no one's business. And now, yeah, now we need to deal with this up here. So we can we go through here? I'd like to go through... The window. Can I not go through the window? 
No, I cannot go through the window, but I could go in through the back door. Could I? I, I seem to not be able to go through the back door. Hmm, that is, that is actually kind of a shame. I'd like to see that. I'd like to see going through windows and, and uh, being able to go over this. I'm not entirely sure why I can't do that. Maybe I'm doing it wrong or something, but whatever the case, I'm pretty happy to charge right out here, use the knockdown ability, and then take them down. Hopefully we'll be able to do that. Let's see. Shit. Yeah. Nice, knockdown. Yes, yes. More more shots, more shots, more shots. There we go. Okay, that's exactly what we want. And now we will continue to move forward. And I believe this guy is dead. Isn't that guy dead? Yeah, that guy died. As you can see, he literally ran towards us. That was probably not the best idea, right. let's face it. And we can now move on over there. Oh, I'm fine. And we can move over here and here. And this is going to be Take a kill down. for us. Yep, there we go. Another kill. And there is actually another enemy just down there. It has a shotgun. So that's yes. going to be a bit of an issue. Or maybe not, because we can actually see them from over here. That is going to be painful. Absolutely painful. So now what we can do is we could... Ah, there's actually another person in there. So I guess we'll move over in this direction, right by the window. And we're going to... We're going to definitely use a smoke grenade, I think. Something like this. Yes. And then okay, we will yes. be moving behind here. Yes. Moving behind here. And then maybe I can move that way? Maybe. We'll see. Ah, okay. They're actually moving all into the positions. Okay, well, that's kind of interesting. That's actually not even that bad. That is actually... <laughs> That is actually pretty good. I'm um, kind of surprised that that actually worked as well as it did. So let's just move everyone into decent enough positions. And I assume that he took yes. care of the opponent, or he kind of almost did. How is he doing in terms of shots? No, he can't hit anyone from here. So we'll just go and check this building right here with him. Uh, I'm sure all of our friends can deal with the rest. Go to hell. Yep, there we go. Nice. Okay, so we've eliminated all the enemies, and this has no one inside, so we should be able to head down relatively easily, right. and okay. I think that's actually right. going to be it. Let's have a look. The soldiers clear out the village center. They then see a comrade being abducted by the enemy. What have we stumbled into? Dead civvies in a pit, these masked freaks setting fire to everything? Whatever this balled up mess is, I say we steer clear of it. We can't. They nabbed that scrawny recruit Fry, didn't you see? We can't just leave him behind. And there you go. Mission complete. Oh yes. That is actually really, really fun. I am liking this game even more every single time they add additional abilities because they just give you so many more options situationally to be able to deal with a particular combat scenario. The separated groups stumble across each other on the outskirts of the village. Morgan, Connor, over here. Avery, never thought I'd be this glad to see your pasty mug. We're chuffed to see you too, Morgan. Did any of the lieutenants survive? We're mucking about without orders here. We only saw the strange enemy soldiers capturing Fry. I don't know if anyone else survived. Then what are we standing around yapping for? Let's go look for Fry. I saw smoke from a camp a few clicks that way. My guess is they're taking him there. A whole enemy camp? Their weird masks scare the hell out of me. Then sit this one out, mate. Us grown-ups can handle it. Let's get closer before we decide who's sitting and who's not. Move out. And we have gained a new ability. Sneaker. Which, which probably will allow us to uh, actually, you know, go stealthy, stealthy mode. It's going to be pretty fun. All right, so these are my records right here. So we actually did pretty well. Uh, I'm kind of surprised that we actually did so well. But I guess it is meant for, uh, <laughs> it, is, it is a prologue mission. It is kind of meant to still continue teaching you as you progress. I'm sure there will be many, many harder ones as we go forward. The survivors reunite, and for a moment, 
they believe they can outlast this ordeal. But it will not be that easy. The group awakens from a restless sleep. All right, so now we can choose soldiers to go into battle with us by the looks of things. Click the small boxes beneath the soldier's portraits to select soldiers for the mission. Click on them again to deselect a soldier. Hovering over a portrait shows that that character's loadout. All right, good to know. Once satisfied with the selected soldiers and their loadout, click the start mission button. Okay, so there you go. So you can basically just click on whoever you want and you can also customize. Look at this. You can customize all of your people and you can actually give them this. For example, reduces spotable range and less enemy attention. For 30 seconds, likelihood of being targeted reduces by 70%. That is actually really cool too. Traits and abilities. Click one of the custom ability boxes to choose a new ability for that soldier. Native traits are unique to specific soldiers and are locked. They can be positive, negative, or somewhere in between. It is possible to unlock additional traits during the campaign. So yeah, there's a huge amount of different things you can do here, as you can see. And wow. Uh, you can also see their composure as well, which I think is quite important to how you do in the mission. So as you can see, the mental health of the squad. If a soldier's composure is too low, they will desert from the squad so you are going to need to balance that in a pretty significant way anyway that is it for this episode if you'd like to check out the game there is a link in the description add it to your steam wishlist if you're interested otherwise i thank you very much for watching and i will see you next time